Hey everyone, so we have here uh, Rita and this is Higan Iruthil. Um, gonna be doing a build guide today with her. She is uh, currently my star player, um, as you obviously have seen. So we're gonna be discussing her build guide, how she's going to be used most of the time and all the details on how to build her. So let's consider first um, her stats here. Okay, so this, these are her current stats. Um, you're gonna be building her with AD, definitely. Uh, also with bonus attack speed if you can. And also with crit rate. Because um, because she's a, she's a sniper. She's, a, she's going to be a sniper role. She's gonna, you know, she's gonna be needing those more or less. So this one is also nice, the bonus attack damage. Let's uh, move on to um, her skill here. Okay, so skill wise, um, it's gonna go through uh, most of her skills. So this one again, this is going to play a important part. This is going to be her basic attack. So her basic attack, because she's a sniper, so she's gonna be doing, um, no, lots of mini shots there. So basic attack should be leveled up um, as a priority. This one is not a priority, the passive. So, but it can be. But this one is to increase AD by twenty six to twenty eight percent for an ally with the highest a AD. So this is actually part of the skill that is um, middle or last priority. The active skill in terms of level up, this one is should be leveled up because ultimate and this skill is going is going to be you know going to be alternated. This one uh, does interrupt, does knock back, and this has a ton of damage. This version, not this version. This one has smaller damage, but this one has I think has penetration. So enemies on the way, so it penetrates enemies at the back. So I don't, I don't like this. I like this more because this has more damage and the, this has a lot of things um, into the shot. So again, this active, the left side is more useful than this one. Although this one has penetration, but I need this more for her to be a more effective sniper. For her ultimate, this one has a lot of damage. I've seen how <laughs> big the damage for this skill is. So, um, again, this one, heavy damage and buff for this skill. So, this one is damage and active. This one is damage and basic attack. So, these three are your, are your priorities, not the passive one. So... At least you know how to prioritize um, leveling up her skills. We're moving on to the Awaken. So for her Awaken, whatever level you are in, the first one is this one. So this should be prioritized if you are at talent rank 3. Then you have to increase the P damage by 30 when no enemies exist within 6 meters radius of her. Definitely this is very doable because she's at the back most of the time. And she has a very long range. So this is really going to take effect. The next one, for this one, the best one is to get the Metal Slug, this arm. So this one, uh, units cannot perform basic attacks. This is very useful to disarming and to disabling enemies. Especially if they are, you know, critical units right in front. And for Phase 5... This one is uh, Predator YG. So both are good. It really depends on your preference here. But I would take this one to increase by 30%. And phase 6 is a Drone Movable Armory applies a shield equal to 0% of Rita's AD to its target. Not sure which target this is. This could be a random target, which is a nice support skill to have. Also, this is good as well. So passive skill, movable armors, drones now last for 4 seconds. But if you want additional value to her, then get this one for the shield. Okay, so that is it for Awaken. Skill Awaken and details here for the stats to prioritize so far. And we'll go to... 
um, equipping a play. So as of now, what I'm using is this play is Karota. Increase AD by 32 because it applies to her and increase damage dealt by basic attack by 20% because I want her to deal more damage on her basic attack. So, so far, I'm actually using this. I'm actually thinking of using more advanced plays, but again, due to the availability, I only have her. The one that I'm thinking of, um, of what do you call this? Equipping once I buy the, lot, the last copy is actually this one. Prolo. So increase skill damage by 20%. Increase skill damage by 2 every second up to 15 stacks, which is roughly what? Uh, 30%. Casting a skill will consume all stacks. Again, this is going to be nice. So probably just a little more patience then I'll try it on her so that probably we'll check how big of a bonus that is which amplifies her um, both of her skills. So this skill and this skill. Uh, no, this skill and this skill, the ultimate and the active skill. So that's it. Um, what else? Final thoughts for her. She's really a glass cannon, I tell you. Large damage, um, squishy when she's reached, but most of what I've seen in terms of battle, she, 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 she's not, she not, she's not even touched at all, especially for PVE. So for PVP, probably you'll encounter somebody who can take her out at the back. So just be careful on how you use her. So far, she has been my priori pri pri priority. Um, big in terms of fire, I used to use Fen, but in terms of damage output, Rita is actually a star, not really Fen. Fen has good damage output, but it's more spread within a few enemies. As for Rita, it's concentrated within one, especially for if you have a big guardian in front or a big boss, she is really, really helpful. So, if you haven't pulled for her, please do pull for her in her current banner. Um, I didn't pull for her because I had her before the banner came out. So I'm actually lucky I got her off banner. So again, if you haven't had her, build her, guys. She's very useful. Most of the stages that I've seen are of fire, uh, are wind element. So she will be a big. She, she will deal a big damage to to wind enemy. So again. Those are my thoughts of Rita. And uh, again, comment down below what do you need more? What do you need to know more about Rita? Um, I'll be giving you guys a let's 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 go to a sample in terms of um, how she is actually being used. So let's uh, just do one here. One sample of deep maze. So I have three two seven. So let's enter this one. Okay, just one sample before we end on how I would usually use her and position her. Okay, so... Right now, win or lose, this is actually what I have been, you know, tinkering about. So, in terms of formation, she should be at the, the, the back. Out back. And this should have somebody in front of her uh, as far away as possible if you can so right now I have Rita there but no Nora heater here so this is actually my default team as of now when I when I'm clearing content so one wind Nuno is probably the best healer at this point in the game um, gonna be covering her soon but let's check out this one I'm gonna do in auto so that you guys can appreciate how well she performs in auto. Um, bear with me if um, everything is uh, kinda, you know, kinda moving not so slow. So she fires at a very decent rate. Not really that fast because she has a sniper rifle. So at this point, as you can see, she is at the back. She stays well far of enemies in the front. So you don't need to worry 
uh, when when your guardian is killed, definitely you're gonna be worried. But um, at this point, um, I'm not worried. Still, <laughs> I have Nunu actually healing everybody, so not a problem. So again, she just needs to be set at the back. Really need to this one. This one is her ultimate. This deals a lot of damage so again if you could interrupt that shield burst at that point there you go dead so both these two are great and being damaged rita probably very close to media in terms of single target damage so that is it guys so hopefully you were able to you know get some tips on how i built her and how to use her how to position her and also I, I don't think you'll have a problem with rita in in auto so she positions herself well doesn't really isn't really isn't isn't careless on auto so again very friendly for auto play so that is it guys thank you very much again comment down in the comment section what do you think of Rita? How you're using her? If you're planning to build her, how you're going to build her? So all of those comments, put them out there. So thank you very much, guys, again, for staying this far. Sorry I was out. Sorry I was away. But I'm here. I'm back. And I can't wait for this game to be released in April 6th. I'll be every day. I'll be here every day. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Again, take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.